I must say, when the exhortation was announced, there was a flurry of excitement here at Kefford. And uh, many people were like, oh, wow, what's this going to be, part two? And then we saw like a trailer from the Vatican, which was pretty amazing. And it, and it was building up the eagerness to Pope Francis' amazing, like follow up to his encyclical, La Daute Si. Um, to make it even more special, this was actually released on the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. So can you provide our listeners with an overview of what Pope Francis's latest apostolic exhortation is all about and how does it connect with the earlier work of Laudato Si? Yes, I'll, I'll start. I'll just go back a bit. I'll, I'll start with the connections first, because all of this is, is part of something called Catholic social teaching. And Catholic social teaching has been around for a good while now, which usually dated as 1891 when it first started. And what Catholic social teaching does is it takes um, the treasures of the faith, if you like, the treasures of Catholic teaching, but it applies it to the current social situation. So I think there's really kind of three phases in Catholic social teaching from 1891 until just after the Second World War. It was all about the Industrial Revolution. It was all about how um, workers were treated in the Industrial Revolution. So it was very much within countries. It was looking at labour, it was looking at capital, and it was looking at how workers were treated. Then after the Second World War, uh, the, the Second Vatican Council happens, a big council in the church where lots of things change. And a new phase of Catholic social teaching starts at that point. And this is the international phase. This is all about development. This is all about um, how we work together as countries and, and, and share things fairly. Interestingly, it's around this time that CAFOD starts as well. Slight, CAFOD slightly before, but CAFOD is, is part of this, this kind of expansion. And then that takes us really up to 2009. And then when Pope Francis comes, I think a third a third um, development starts. And this is integral uh, ecology. So here it's widened even further. It's not just taking human beings in. It's taking the other creatures of the planet and indeed the, the planet as a whole. So if you think about the movement of that, it starts quite small and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and, and more expansive. Um, the, the Laudato Si, uh, which came out a few years ago, was um, Pope Francis's encyclical on the environment. Now, that was that was a big, expansive document which talked all about the things that we need to be doing today in terms of the environment. Um, and it, it was a really full, full treatment of the current ecological situation. Laudato Deum is not that. It's been described as an addendum. It's a bit added on to the end of Laudato Si. And why is that? It, it It's an exhortation. It asks us to do something. It, it says... We've already we've already given you all of the facts, all of the theology, all of the things you need to know and let out to see. But now you need to do something. That's very interesting. And um, so you were saying about this, the exhortation is is literally telling us now, literally, I've told you what is the problem? What's the situation now? Act, go forth and act. Could you just clarify just for people the difference then between an encyclical and an exhortation yes yeah, so the first of these two was an encyclical and an encyclical started off as a, a circular letter to the churches so two thousand years ago in in the early church somebody would write a letter um either the pope or, or somebody else who, who had a kind of leadership role in the church would like write a circular letter and that would go round all of the churches and be read by everyone um, that's what an encyclical is that's what the word encyclical means so in some sense um the encyclical an encyclical is just addressed to Catholics. It's just addressed to people who are within the church, within the conversation. Now, if, um, a few years ago, kind of around the time of the Second World War, um, the, the Pope started addressing them both to the Catholic faithful and to all people of goodwill. So, it, so there's a sense in which they are for everybody, but in some sense, they are still kind of um, more for the people within the church than outside of, of the church. Uh, Laudate Diem 
is an exhortation. Now, the word exhortation just means come on, do something. That That's literally what it means. So um, Laudate Diem is asking us, is saying, look, we really need to do something and we need to do something now. And it's specifically addressed to all people of goodwill. It's not primarily addressed to Catholics. It's addressed to everyone. Mm -hmm.